tutorial video and for today's episode uh, a lot of you guys requested how to use ps touch itself so as you can tell we have the app here of ps touch let's open it up and to be honest it's a really easy app um well it depends on which how you're using it and like which way you're using it so here is the ps touch app and as you can see this thing if you press this it says upload a creativity cloud save to gallery or share now if you want to save it to gallery is the best way to save it here so save to gallery or before that you need to click on it wait what you want to do is go back so say you want one of them right so what you want to do is click on share save to gallery and then you just pick one and you press ok you can either pick from jpeg to png that's your choice but you can pick multiple ones so it's really easy guys so yeah that's how you save it to gallery so that's really interesting if you want to start a whole new project, you just click on this, this button right here, and it'll basically start your own project off. And if you yourself want to continue on your project of these GFX, you can continue just by clicking on them and it'll be easy. But now um, I'll be showing you guys some easier things about this. As you can see from here, there's photo library. If you click on photo library, it'll basically take you to everything here. So it'll take you to screenshots, Twitter pictures, Instagram pictures, font text, camera shots, your downloads uh, from internet, and your Adobe Photoshop, all the work you have so far. And if you go again here, it'll take you to Creativity Cloud, it'll take you somewhere else. And if you click on camera, it'll just take like an IRL shot, so real life shot right now. It'll be really easy and really fun, but if you want a blank document, you can always click on them and you can make your own size. Now this, I'm gonna get into the next episode. And next part of this is basically gonna be how to make a uh, how to make a profile picture. So do stay tuned for that. It'll be really easy. And that's mainly how you do this. So you can have blank documents. You open one one up. It'll be really easy. If, you, if this is still confusing for you, you can always go here and you can see help about section private policy image import generalization. And if you want to click here, you can delete or make a new folder. It's really easy, guys. Okay, let me get into one and let me show you one, okay? So say here, I wanna go on downloads and let's pick a specific, okay, let's pick this one. What you wanna do is, as, I, as, you can have, as you have this here, this, if you click on this, it basically shows you all the scenarios that you have here. So if you click on this plus button, you'll have photo, uh, photo layer, uh, empty layer, duplicate layer, Duplicate it just makes a separate copy if you want to empty layer It just makes another empty layer so on this empty layer you can do anything you want So if you want to say you want to draw like that, okay? So that that's basically what the empty layer can do you can just click on it and it can disappear So the exclamation mark there proof that it's gone or disappeared But yeah, it will basically go behind the text and in front of the text basically depends overall like where you put it so yeah, That's really interesting and another thing I want to show you guys is this button here. This basically shows all the blend modes. So there's subtract, differences, linear dodge, anything you want to do. The mo the one that I use a lot is has to be overlay. So I would stick with overlay if you want to start off with GFX. And of course this opacity basically shows how transparent it can get. And this I won't mess with the anything here because it can just make things really weird. This thing is for manicure section tools. This can basically make holes and basically color the black parts in. So let me show you an example. So you have this part and we just make a circle here. What you want to do is fill this in with this. So it's basically something like that. So it's just something, some things like that. So it's really cool. And with that, there's many different shapes. As you can see, there's square. Um, lasso is basically you can just do any wait excuse me let me just try the lasso you can basically do anything just make a circle like this it's really easy really fun to use so that's basically this is the um, the basically the copy and cut no uh, cropping section so this is a cropping section and this guys this is the basically the magic wand tool what you want to do with this one is as you open here and go on photo layer to a library and if you go back to downloads and fonto say if I want to click on speed art just bring speed art out and press this so whenever you have like put something out 
always make sure that you can click this button here and it saves it. it just puts it there and what the magic wand can do is basically if you click on the black part of this oops let me try with something else because this is basically going to take down everything sorry let me just bring something else um next next story, let's use that one so say we have this here okay we can click on the plus button use the magic wand to click on the black part of this and go up here and now this can show many things it has cut copy copy emerge feather show pointer and many other things etc so what you want to do is cut as you can see when you press cut it's bas it basically takes out the black part so this you with this you can do many things it's really interesting like that and just have fun with this you know it's really easy guys so and just add like a shadow here I don't want to get too carried away with this but yeah it can looks nice it look it can look nice something like that so that's basically how you get the text effect on there and next thing you want to do is um, if you go here there are a lot of adjustments you can add color corrections so many things like that it's pretty interesting I personally don't use that but yeah this these are also some styles of um, editing colors and the text or whatever you want to edit on the screen whatever you have here it's really easy really fun really nice guys and I think overall it's a really good thing that they made something like this and if you go photo it's the same thing if you go on and you can see a lot of other things here this crop image image size rotate lens flare it basically what lens flare does is like it gives like this flare you know the light background light so it's pretty interesting pretty cool let me open a uh, empty layer and show you more of this if you click on gradients it basically makes this thing go up so it shows like this light effect I don't know fading effect so you can click on this bring it up here and to make it look nice you can just go back here and click on this and as you can see from the blend mode click on overlay oh overlay so it gives kind of th this kind of effect it's really cool guys so I do suggest you guys to check this out also check out gradients and fill and stroke basically covers everything itself and if I wait, let me just check something for you guys. Um, let me open another empty layer and let me show you some tricks with fill and stroke. You click on fill and stroke, what you can do it you can either put it like this and overlay this really quickly. So it can overlay that or 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 guys, what you can do is fill and stroke this and click on types. As you can see on strokes, you go on width and just pull the size up a bit. Pull the size up a bit. Wait, let me check something. Yeah, you go here and fill in stroke and let's change the color to black no yeah black and let's try and increase the width and of course wait now what you want to do is wait let me just fix this yeah here okay here what you want to do next is get this Fill and stroke. Let me try this again. Fill and stroke, but this time we open this with. Anyway, for some reason it's not working, but it just gives that kind of outer, outer part effect, which is really cool, of course, in the end. And that's basically it, guys. All of these, everything else. This is basically the brush. This, honestly, I have no clue. I'm sorry about guys. I'm sorry, I don't know what that is. But this is basically the brush, and eraser and everything else. Really interesting. But that's all you got for PS Touch. And when you're done with your work, always click on done and save. Now what it does, it just sends, now go back to your main uh, background. So you have this. What you want to do is click on this, of course, save to gallery. Click on that and OK. And that's basically it, guys. And from there, you just send it to your PC and there you have it. And that's basically how you use PS Touch. That's the tutorial on how to use PS Touch, guys. And that's it. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let's go for 30 likes. And